Hi everybody, this is uh, We Need Your One again. Uh, in this video, I'm going to focus a little bit on uh, installation of uh, Buildcraft 2.2.1. I've been getting a couple of emails from people who are either having a problem running Buildcraft or having problem uh, installing Buildcraft. So I thought I'd, I'd do this uh, tutorial right here. This is my first uh, tutorial on how to do an install, so just bear with me. I'm also running this Camtasia thing piece of software that's new to me as well so please bear with me um, so as I mentioned people have been asking if I can send them their you know my minecraft.jar file that's an Ill illegal thing to do and I don't want to do it it belongs to Mojang and uh, it, it's not a good idea so I thought if I were to help people I, I would better start out with the same set of instructions same installation base so um, a couple of important note. This is for installing Buildcraft 2.2.1. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it for both the client and the vanilla server. The bucket um, port is not available yet. That's why I'm playing server. I would much prefer using bucket, but it's just not available. Patience. Um, the next thing I want to mention is that this is for Minecraft 1.8.1, 1.9 I'm not touching yet. Uh, there aren't that many uh, that many mods for it anyway. Uh, also, I'm running Windows, so all the instructions are going to be very specific to the Windows uh, environment. One other thing I want to mention is that I'm using WinRAR. I've had a lot of success with WinRAR. People who have used WinZip. I'm not going to bash WinZip, but uh, I've just heard that WinZip sometimes may corrupt the uh, JAR file, so I recommend using WinRAR, and I uh, give a, a a link here for you to download. I think you can get a trial for it. Anyway, I'm going to post all of these um, links in the video's uh, instructions or description area for you guys to download. So go through them and uh, download all the files that I specify here. I think uh, you end up with a total of around 26 files, if I didn't miscount, around 26 files or so. And there are some optional files in there. And if you don't want to do things like single player command or uh, MC patcher or um, too many items, then by all means, skip them. But uh, for every link, I specify the file that you want to download. All right, so um, get to it, download all the files, and I'll be right back with the instruction. Okay, let's start with the installation of the um, of the client. So I assume that you have already installed the WinRAW properly. Um, it should have a context menu if you right click on a file. You're going to see, um, I think it's out of your view, hang on. Yeah, you should see WinRAR somewhere around here. Okay, so um, first let's just delete the, uh, let's start with a clean installation. I'm going to re remove um, the Minecraft folder altogether. So go to the Windows, run, and type in um, app data like so. Click OK. And you can see that the Minecraft folder is here. I'm just going to remove it. Gone. Now start your Minecraft. That's going to get repopulated again. It's going to download all the new binaries. Okay, just going to kill this thing right now. As you can see, you got a new Minecraft folder with the bins and everything. Okay, um, so the first thing you want to do is install Mod Loader and Mod Loader MP. If you right click on minecraft.jar, 
you're going to see uh, this open width. Well, I'm not sure if you guys see this. Let me drag it down a little. Open width, WinRAR. Alright, first rule, get rid of meta in. Right click, delete files. Yes. Click on mod loader. Click on the first one, shift click the last one, drag it over here to the minecraft.jar, let go, and just click OK. It's just overwrite whatever it needs to overwrite. Alright, you're done with mod loader. Go to mod loader MP client, skip the server that belongs to the server later, click, same deal. Click on the first, shift click this, the last file drag and drop. When you drop here, make sure that you are not targeting any of the uh, folder here. It, uh, it may go into uh, the folder, which is not a, not a good thing. Okay, so we're done with that. The next thing you want to put in your client is the MindForge client. 1.1.1. .1 Click put everything in here, put everything in your minecraft.jar. Click on the photo forge, go down to the bottom, shift click the last one, drag and drop. Click OK. Good. Now you really have the base installation of uh, what it takes uh, to run Buildcraft minus the files that are required by Buildcraft, which are these things here. But I know from reading the forums that there are a few um, bugs still in ModLoader MP that needs to be fixed. So in your list of files that I asked you, know, you guys to download, there are these over here. These need to go into, well, the client needs to go into Minecraft.jar, and there are files in here that will need to go into the the Minecraft server that jar later. Okay, so we're doing the client. Right click again, open with WinRAR. Scroll down a little bit to avoid the folder. Click on the uh, model loader MP, MP client fix. It's just one file. Drag, drop, click OK. And then there's this other fix here. This prevents crash from happening. Um, this is just a class file, so you don't need to uh, you don't need to open it with uh, WinRAR. Just drag and drop it in here. All right. Okay, you you're pretty much done with uh, the required components of Minecraft.jar. We're gonna go through it in a little while. Uh, you know, with the um, with the optional files, but for right now, let's uh, let's go into the Buildcraft folder here. In your Minecraft folder, you should see. Oh, sorry, you don't have the mod uh, folder yet because Minecraft hasn't run for the first time. So let's just run it once. Make sure that it still runs. And as you can see, when it runs, it creates a new folder called Mines. All right. I'm just going to kill it now. It seems like it's still working. So in the Mods folder, you need to drag and drop all the Buildcraft client files in it. There are five all together. Right click, right drag, drop here. Copy. That's it. Your Buildcraft client installation is complete. Let's just see if it works. I'm going to try single player. 
I'm gonna create a new world. Whatever. Well, it still works, but um, you know, I don't have TMI installed at this point, so it's hard to it's hard to, to, to see it. So let's just do that. Let's just install TMI to see if we can see some of the items. So save and quit. I'm going to go back to Minecraft and go into bin again. We're going to need to modify that now. So the again, um, too many items is totally optional. It's up to you. But um, I, I like to have it, ju you know, just to have a little fun. So, but before you modify the Minecraft again, we know that it's working currently. Let's just make a copy, right drag, copy here, right? so that we have something to go back to. Right click on Minecraft, open with WinRa. Scroll down. Now open up too many items. I'm gonna click on the first, shift click the last, drag and drop. Click OK. Now, we've got TMI installed. Let's just run it. Single player, new world. I'm gonna play. So for TMI, uh, inventory is E. So you press E. You should see it. You see that? Your engine. Let's just get a lever. A chest two chests uh, some stuff here I'm gonna get a wooden pipe alright I'm gonna put two chests down and here I'm gonna put all these grass I think I grabbed the wrong wooden pipe. Let me just see. Yeah, you want the wooden transport pipe and not the waterproof type pipe. I'm going to connect one in between. What I want to do is place a red redstone engine here and have all of these grass going from here to here. Just to test it out. Alright. Looks like the animation started, and you can see that going through. Cool. Success. All right, that's for the client. I'm going to quit. Okay, let's see if we can get the, uh, the server installed.